for the NFL recap. Let's start off in La La Land, Los Angeles. I can get down with that. Thursday night football. Oh, you were talking about that. I thought you were talking Chargers and 49ers, man. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. We're not even going to touch on I'm that playing. game. I'm playing. Not going to touch on that game. The Rams game, yeah, I, I felt good about the uh, about best, our Vikings pick. Best but Thursday night game ever? It definitely had the feel of it. I mean, it was a pretty great game. It was a good game. It was, uh, you forth. know what? The, the offensive firepower, definitely. Jared Goff. Ooh. Throws for 465 yards and five TDs. The combination of Jarrett Goff and Sean McVay is one of the most dangerous coach quarterback combinations this season I've ever seen. Uh, the only perfect quarterback score, or only the third yeah. perfect quarterback score in what, since they started doing the QBR. Since, since they started this new QBR thing. Yeah. Um, scary good. What I thought was amazing about this game is. Early in the game, I would say second quarter, they were running the football and they were getting first downs. They oh, were yeah. dinking and dunking, they're getting first downs. And after getting one or two first downs on first down, drop back seventy plus yard bomb oh, yeah. to the end zone. Bam. And and the passes were three three drives. Three drives in a row on a first down. They throw the ball 60-plus, 70-plus yards for three straight touchdowns. I've never seen an offense like that. I don't know yeah. that there is a – all right, first things first. The Vikings, they were supposed to have the best defense in football, one it of the best defense in football. Been nothing no, like no, that. No, they don't have that. But I don't know what kind of defense you would take to do this because this is not like golf standing back there for seven, six seconds waiting for a guy to get downfield. I mean, he's dropping back and launching it and hitting guys in stride. Oh, it's 30, I mean, it's 40, perfect. 50 plus yards down the field. Perfect pass. Now, he's not like that every week. He was on well, fire well, that this night. This week, unreal yeah. good. Now, I, I would fully expect for him to not be nearly as accurate I'm, this week I'm, when I'm, they go to I'm Seattle. Done, I'm done betting against him. But that's, I mean, that's the deal, right? Like, it's you really don't want to bet against him. But I'm starting to see some of these teams in pros the way I look at college teams. You know how I have this rule that until until UCF is a three-touchdown favorite, I'm not betting against UCF just because they're that good. They're being, Until this line just keeps getting bigger and bigger, I'm, I'm just going to keep betting the Rams until they don't cover a game. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Next game. Next game up. Let's roll. My favorite player to watch in football this year. Khalil Mack or Baker Mayfield? Khalil Mack. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna get to Baker for late until okay. this thing. I was just and, we're, just and then and then even when we get to that part, we're gonna be going fast and we're not gonna cover Baker. Okay. Khalil Mack took all the magic Fitzmagic had and crumbled it up into a nice little ball and threw it away. Yeah, he he really did. And all right, so I mean, they, since they we're gonna, demolished since and we're gonna talk about Khalil Mack, holding right. them to ten points. That team was scoring 35, 40 points a game. Mitchell Trubisky and Matt Nagy, don't they know that in the day and age today, you can't just go around slinging your ding -ling everywhere. They were pulling it out and showing it to people. Six hey, touchdowns. He accounted for 407 yards. This is not Jarrett Goff. This is not Sean McVay offense. This it's not is, Ryan Fitzpatrick. No, this is, <laughs> this is Mitchell Trubisky. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Are the Bears the best team in the AFC North? Yes. I think I think they are, and I'm I not. Think this and defense, I'm not hesitating. The best defense in football, number yeah. one, not close. The best defense in football, and Mitchell Trubisky and Matt Nagy, he has looked good in parts of all three games they've played. Oh yeah, this week he finally played an entire sixty minute. Well, he didn't have to about forty minutes, and then it was over. Yeah, he got six touchdowns, five touchdowns, first half. Well, here's the deal. You remember I actually bet on the Bucks in this game. I don't remember like, that. And I was way wrong on that. Yep. But it was because I the the weakness of the Tampa Bay defense was their passing defense, right? It was their secondary. And I thought there was no way that the Bears could take advantage of that because they have not shown the capability of doing that ever. Well, they played the Packers, who don't have a good defense, and they looked good for two quarters, looked bad for two quarters. Which, by the way, had they beaten 
the Packers. Oh yeah. I they, mean, they'd have at least a two. No, it'd be a three game lead. Yep. In the AFC North. Yeah. No, they're they're unbelievable. If their defense can continue to shut teams down like this, and Matt Nagy can control Mitch Trubisky and get what he's getting out of this offense, the rest of the NFL, gird your loins. <laughs> that that's that's real. All right, what's, what's your next one? Number three, Kansas City looked almost human for the first three and a half quarters. Yeah, and, and I then, was going to say about 50 minutes or so, and maybe then longer. And then I guess everyone's calling Showtime Mahomes began to throw the ball left-handed and said, I'm just playing with you guys. Yeah. He's just toying with the league. This is a top three to five defense in the NFL, and he said, "Are they? I'm just dicking around with y'all. Are they actually? I think they are. I still think. Well, okay. Are there any other? This is a year where defenses are not real good. So that, that standard that is right. pretty low. I mean, yeah, I you know, you're think right. think of off you're the right. top of my head, Jacksonville, Bears, name another but one see, that I you started... feel more comfortable with than them. Ravens, maybe. I mean, no, I know that the Bengals no, put it on them. They, but like... just, they just played a bad team. They've played two bad teams and their defense looked great. I'm I mean, really they sorry up to on the Steelers. I just said they played two bad teams. Well, who else? The Browns and the. Well, they haven't played the Browns. Oh no, not the Browns. Hold on. The uh... they played. They played the Bills. And that, they that's what the I meant. The, the Bills, the they Steelers, played, they... and the Broncos. And they they stomped on the Broncos. Well, yeah, but the Broncos still scored twenty eight points on them. No, the Broncos scored fourteen points on them. No, they scored more than that. That's a... <laughs> double double check I bet, that stat. I bet that game they scored in the twenties. Du- double check that stat, man. They didn't win. They didn't cover the bet, though. No, they didn't cover. I know they didn't cover. Hang on. I thought this it was, was really bad. Already, it was fourteen. That's what I Son thought it was. Bitch, I was wrong. Got that photographic memory, Chris. Oh, anyway, anyway, don't ever doubt me again. <laughs> I, I think. Yeah. No, I, I'm with you. I like, mean, I, th- are, I think the I Ravens' defense is pretty good, but I, I think the Broncos na- is pretty good. But you're talking about are there four teams? Are there five teams that are better than them on defense? I think you just named them. I think that's it. Yeah, I, I, the I think Vikings the Browns are not the Brown, very good. The Browns are up there, but they're yeah. They're, but I they're mean, are five, the Browns? I mean, they gave yeah, up forty-five no. points last week. That's because the other team was on. They were on the field for ninety-something. Pa- but that's plays. because the offense was moving the football no. on them. Like yeah. the Browns are giving up like um, like over seven yards per pass attempt. They're giving up like five yards of carry. All rushing. of all like, of that is happening towards the end of the game when they've been on the field for God knows how many minutes, because their offense is three and out or turnover. It's the same okay. way it was last year. You can't judge a, ba- a, a good defense when the offense is just constantly going three and out. They're gassed. Okay. No, the you're, Vikings you're right. don't have that excuse. This offense is explosive. They put up 31 points. You well, cannot but, get but mad at here's, that. Here's the other side of the, the Vikings problem, if we're going to talk about Vikings defense. Uh, the Vikings cannot run the football. They are averaging like Well, their 60, offensive line's bad, and that's not a secret. They're averaging 63 yards Per rush, yeah, no, they're. they're I mean, uh, per, 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 per game, game rushing per game. per game, and then it's like three point six yards per rush. So like sixty three. So they're running the ball fifteen times a game on average, something like yeah, that. They can't fifteen to any, twenty. They can't get any push up front. Their and offensive line's bad. My God, against the Bills, they just completely bad. They they ran the ball six times against Buffalo. Well, they got down like twenty something points real fast. You but, gotta just yeah, but still, you gotta stay the course in the first half. I don't know what don't is happening know. there, and I understand like everybody knew that the offensive line was bad. We didn't think it was as bad as no, the Redskins. Think, no, we didn't think it was this bad. Like no, and, I didn't and foresee it. Being... Kirk Cousins, I think, thought that he was coming to a team that was ready to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he still got paid. Like I, I don't feel he's, sorry for him, but he's the best player on that offense. That's he's what's making that offense go, which is crazy. All right, all right, go ahead. Next, next up, our Tennessee Titans. Are for real. Boom, baby. And what I tell you, come down to Nashville, they're going to pull you down in the mud. It's going to be a garbage game. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be fun to watch. You're going to leave bleeding. You're going to leave bruised. You're going to leave with some L's. Believe that. Look, the the Eagles, like, it, that was, that's that was a some good, big old. That's a that was good football team they beat up Gigantic huevos. Yeah. That's what just, that was. Just just slanging it around. Huge, huge nuts. Uh, Look, Mike Vrabel is. I'm, I'm I'm falling more and more in love with that man. Look, that every team week. loves that guy. They play for him. They put it all out there. Let me let me do a shout out. Okay, Rashawn Evans. Oh yeah, 
he is a grown man. Yeah, no, he, he's playing he, great. The, some of the, the hits that he put on blockers, I mean, he just blew up. I can't see players. how they're doing this. Every other series, they're losing a player. I mean, I've never yeah. seen the next man up. I mean, there are practice squad guys out there, and there's not like one or two. They're going to have like six out of the starting 22 are were not on their original 53-man roster. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. I mean, it's bad, and they're still playing. And these are good. I mean, that's a good team. That's oh, a real good team. That Eagles really team, team, no joke. Next up, the once again left for dead Pats are, in fact, <laughs> not dead again. They are not dead. You are correct. Right. And Josh Gordon's kind of coming into his own. They get little Mighty Mouse back. Julian Edelman, ready to go, fired up Thursday night. Tom's starting to get a little swagger, dancing a little bit on a practice squad. This guy over here is going to be at the ball game, going to Thursday night football. See, so I have this problem where I'm a, I get like easily addicted to things, and I went to Boston once, and I was like, like three weeks ago, yeah, right? and I've never, and I'd never been in my life. I've been a fan of this city. I've loved this city forever. I'd never been. I went three weeks ago. I'm going back. Yeah, that's like, so. Like two, three weeks later. So just a precursor. Uh, just gonna go to I'm going to be doing the college football recap and whatnot by myself this week. Uh, but Chris will be back next Tuesday for us to go over. I'm going all to a of Thursday night Pats stuff. game, and then I'm going to an ALDS game one series, hopefully against the Oakland A's. That'd be fun. It's going to be awesome. That'd be fun. Anyway. All right. So yeah, the Pats absolutely came and back. Not uh, dead. Look, after a loss, like. They have covered the spread. I think they're like thirteen and three or something as a favorite. You know why like, there's no statistics for after back to back losses where they get beat by because they had never had it because it's never happened. Yeah, because it just don't happen. Yeah, I mean it's it's a crazy number. It was thirteen and three or thirteen and four or something like that. Like, and we're just talking covering the spread. We're just covering the spreads. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not even like I think hell they might have been undefeated. That Dolphins team's like, pretty good. That Dolphins team was undefeated coming in. They had a really good offense. Adam Gase is a great coach. You Listen, think the wheels are going to fall off for them? No, no, no. I actually have them in this week's gambling picks. Okay, okay. A little precursor there for you guys. Gotcha. Number six, Pittsburgh. We got a problem. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it Josh Dobbs time? No, it's not Josh Dobbs. Ty. Is it, it's is it, not. Are you sure? No, are we it's sure, not are we, that. Are we sure Ben Roethlisberger is good at football? <laughs> are we sure he's it's, good at football? It is not a Ben Roethlisberger problem. Oh, it's not. Okay, it is. It is because a I, would, I would assume that leading the NFL in interceptions is a problem. That's it. well. That's only because James Winston hadn't played four games yet. Oh, touche. So the only so reason James Winston comes in for for one half and throws two picks last week. So don't don't get crazy on me. Uh, but he's, yes. he's got he's got some catching up to do. Yeah, he's, and and he'll get to apparently. We'll no Ben's you know. Ben's got a lead and he not let uh, it go. No, I think Ben may just want this. This is your like team. He, he may just want to do defend this. your boys. I have no defense for this because they have no defense, none whatsoever. They they can't stop anybody. Their and offense wasn't too good either. Well, and I think that they I think their offense stresses. Ben really Roethlisberger do. in tight this, games though. is go- what I tell you when he played the Browns. All I wanted was them to keep putting the ball in Ben's hands. Don't run the ball. Keep putting it in his hands. He's going to screw it up. Oh, yeah. He's going to mess it up. When the game is on the line, this Ben Roethlisberger going to give the game away. Uh, what's the uh, – Le'Veon Bell. He's going to be back, what, week eight? Well, he said week seven, which is their bye week, and he thinks he's going to get paid for that week, but they're going to exempt him, and he's still yeah. not going to get paid. He's not going to get paid but for that But there's week. a lot of talks that they're just not going to – no, you didn't sign the tender, we're out. Sorry, come on back, but but we're not gonna pay you, and you're not gonna play. We're gonna just. That's exempt you. crazy. You think that actually, like, if if they end up like, well, if two, they got two, if they're two, four, and one, if, or if, if they're two, where they're three, sitting right or, now in the standings, which is DFL in that division, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just say I'm not paying you 14 million dollars to play the the cap. That's a good point. Franchise tag. Moving on. All right, number seven, Alvin Kamara is the best offensive player in football right now. Change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind. I think he is the I, I think I fully best agree with that. offensive football player uh, now, hold on, hold in on. the NFL now, are you right talking, now. Are you talking best offensive player, like including quarterbacks, or just like skill position? Well, I mean, Athlete. The quarterback is only as good as the people that get him the ball. He is only as good as the people that get him the ball. I think right now, I mean, he's not the most valuable because a bad quarterback is more valuable than a running back. 
But okay, if we're gonna say skill players, because we're gonna take quarterbacks out, but I hundred percent like uh, the, the yeah. only other person I would put over that like may, Drew Brees maybe, uh, Aaron and, and Rodgers. Well, uh, even He's not, then, he ain't playing that great. But yeah, okay. even then, uh, but like Drew Brees, Pat Mahomes, you know, something yeah. like that, and Jared Goff, whatever. But 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 for real, like just skill player. I think all those he guys is the are best a skill of the system. Could, I think if he's running and catching the football in any offense, could you imagine him with the Rams? Oh, no, it'd be unsolved. And that's talking about we're replacing like, Todd Gurley, who we all assumed was the best running back in football. I think he, This guy's better than him. I, I think Todd Gurley is better at running the football. I think he's better between the tackles. But he's not as a better far as overall, open space. overall player. Yeah, he's in not open as good space, as Alvin, Kamara. Alvin Kamara is, without a doubt, the, he will make anybody miss. He can run over people. He is, yes, it, the, the game against the Giants that he had, and I understand it was the Giants. But he's done but it against everybody. He's done it against everybody. The, he's the unreal. games that he didn't, they, as in the Steelers, didn't look good, he still looked great. Yeah. He still put up unbelievable numbers. Yeah. The best player in football, if you're in fantasy, trade trade your life for him. you got a firstborn child. You don't need that kid. You can have another get, one. Get that boy. Yeah, go get him. <laughs> Number eight. I believe that the Colts are playing 3D chess. Not just regular chess. While you all brought the this rest up to me before. I agree. Playing checkers. I I like your thinking. I, I, I had not so, thought of this. So the head coach, the Colts, explain it for the wonderful viewers. Head coach of the Colts is trying to defend his fourth down call. He's trying to say, "I would rather lose than tie." And then he also tried to say that the rest of the team like believes in me because I did this. So they're like excited, and I won the locker room. See, I think all that's just bullcrap for the cameras because he can't say the truth. And the truth is this, the Colts are not winning anything this year, okay? Having Bill O'Brien be retained as the head coach of the Texans, Houston Texans, is more valuable than any win can be this season. Give that man wins so they can keep him employed because if they fire him and they make a good hire, it can hurt along the way that's in the division but if he stays the coach and you're playing for next year man you you want to play against bill o'brien because that guy yeah that guy's a joke i i do agree with that i, I think i think they're absolutely playing chess where everybody else is playing checkers i think it's not i'd rather lose than tie nobody would rather lose than tie nobody you just want to make sure bill o'brien's got some w's in the win columns that way he might be able to keep his job. Okay. Yeah, no, I I think I do agree with that. Like it sounds ridiculous on the surface, but the premise isn't insane. I thought like, about it at first as a joke, and the more I thought about it, I think even if it wasn't meant to be, it's the right decision. I uh, yeah, I think it is. It's absolutely right. I decision. think it is. Number nine, we're almost done. Okay. Earl Thomas gave his team the middle finger, and I don't think that's enough to explain the frustration and anger that he has towards Pete Carroll and the ownership. And I think those guys are all a bunch of piece of craps, and Earl Thomas is a great player. Yeah. Yeah. They, he, he wanted to be traded. Uh, he, he They said, show up, play. Well, you know what's crazy? Play, and we'll take care of you. You know, you know And he played. And they never took care of him. And they and never took care of him, and now he's hurt, and he's not going to get taken care of. Well, here's, here's the funny part about this. They were offered, like, a third-round draft pick, and at that point, like, that's actually smart. Right, like a third round pick, um, like you get something for him. He there were walk talks. at the end of the season. Schefter talked about how the Steelers were in talks to trade Le'Veon for him straight up. That would have been perfect. And guess what's going to happen? That would have been great for both of those players. And now they're not. And now it can't because he showed up instead of sitting at home like Le'Veon. He showed up. So all those people giving Le'Veon hell, y'all can go to hell. That's yeah. This no, is later on. You stay home. And you sit on your butt and you do nothing and you wait for somebody to call you to pay you. You you wait for that security. Not this not, is a joke. not to get paid. It's it's the security because yeah, it's, it's not security. like the Steelers weren't paying. He was making like fourteen million dollars. Well, franchise year. tag, but it's right. one year deal. But it's a one year deal. You are guaranteed nothing after this season. And they're trying to pay him like a running back, and he is Alvin Kamara. He is an offensive player. He's not just a running back. Yes. No, I I agree with you. Um, but I don't think it's so much about the money. I think it's about the years. I mean, it's about the years, guaranteed money. It's, I mean, it's it's yeah. a combination. At the of end things. of the day, it comes down to dollars. But for Earl Thomas, he wanted that security. Yeah, 
And well, because he's not getting that kind of money. No, Safeties he ain't going to get that. and corners don't get. But he, he wanted security. He yeah. deserved it. He, he put everything he, he had into that team. Uh, yeah. Uh, what uh, You got what? one more? Last thing. The past 20 years, the Cleveland Browns have been screwing themselves. The past 20 years, they've been a complete crap disaster. show, disaster. disaster in the NFL. They finally look like they're getting things going, and they did not play a flawless game. Everybody's got some blame, but you know I'm, what? I'm just going to sit back and let you take They that. won this game. They won this game, and some jackass in New York said, uh, instant replay has shown that that is not a first down. We're going to move the ball back like three feet, a whole yard. You got to punt it. We're going to close our eyes, ignore the two block in the backs. We need to get John Gruden some love because we can't have a team going into Las Vegas with nothing but L's. It ain't good enough for <laughs> Cleveland to just suck on their own. No, no, no. The league's got to piss on them too. Did you listen to uh, Brent Musburger's call? No, I didn't. I should. I should he, look it up. He uh, he said, uh, "Guy, what was it? Just win, baby. Just win. Right through the uprights." <laughs> like, but he kept. He just kept saying, "Just win. Just win." <laughs> like, I said, dude, y'all just got handed a win. They got. Like, yeah, they they totally got handed a win by the league. That was the first down. There's absolutely no indisputable evidence. Every person on TV watching the game says. They can't overturn this call. I don't know what's taking so long. They cannot overturn this call. They didn't just move the ball back. I know they only got the first down by like an inch. And I would have not been upset if there was a called non a first down on the screen. And then they reviewed it and they still there's not enough evidence to change the call. Man, they changed it and they moved it back I mean, they moved it back a whole yard. And then the punt happens, and they get two block in the backs. They run the punt 25-plus yards. Should have been minus 10, so that's a 35-net-yard thing. They drive down. They score. They get a two-point conversion. It goes to overtime. Brown's defense was on the field for, like, 92 snaps. Two of those players were out there for every single snap. They just can't play defense no more. They're dead. They've yeah, got they're, no they're gas. gas left in the tank. It's, it's exactly what happened with Alabama and Clemson in that Cleveland national Browns. They're, they're, they're getting better. Just don't screw them. They don't need your help screwing themselves. Baker didn't play good. Nobody caught the football. Hugh was still an idiot. Same old Cleveland. Same old Cleveland. Screw you, NFL. Roger Goodell. Hate that man. That's our NFL recap for week, uh, what, week four? Yeah. Was, yeah, week four. That was week four. <laughs>